Happy May Day everybody, Trevor here, and welcome to a brand new Top 10 video. You know what? I love the Looney Tunes. Not only they are nostalgic, but they are still hilarious and over the top to this very day. And that's why I'm doing a Top 10 Looney Tunes characters video. Most of us love the Looney Tunes. Even Jonathan Moore, who is one of my best friends on YouTube. I suggest you go check out his channel if you'd like. Before we begin, it's time for a little history lesson. The Looney Tunes were produced and distributed by Warner Brothers, which originally lasted from 1930 to 1969, which was during the golden age of American animation. They were originally created by three individuals named Leon Schlesinger, Hugh Harmon, and Rudolf Ising. Sorry if I mispronounced their last names. They worked on the franchise from 1930 to 1933 until Leon sold the company to Warner Brothers in 1944 and was rebranded as Warner Brothers Cartoons. The very first Looney Tunes character was Bosco, who first appeared in the short Bosco the Talking Kid in 1929, but the very first official Looney Tunes short, Sinking in the Bathtub, was released in 1930, and is a play on words for the tune Singing in the Bathtub. Now, Looney Tunes, along with its sister series, Merry Melodies, were both satires on Disney's Silly Symphonies, and since 1942, they became the most popular shorts in movie theaters while competing against Disney and other famous cartoon shorts such as Popeye and Tom and Jerry. But the most iconic Looney Tunes character of them all is Bugs Bunny, whose official birthday was July 27, 1940, while an early prototype of him was made a couple years prior. He was voiced by the legendary voice actor Mel Blanc, also known as the Man with a Thousand Voices. He also voiced a ton of other Looney Tunes characters including Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Tweety Bird, Foghorn Leghorn, and many, many others. And in my opinion, the Looney Tunes are still great, even to this day. If you want more information on the history of the Looney Tunes, I'll provide a link or two in the description below, otherwise we'd be here all day. Now for this list, I'm only going to include characters that are the most well known, so I won't be including any obscure ones such as Tina Russo or any of the other newer characters in the modern day spin-offs. Now without further ado, grab a bowl of carrots and start listening to my top 10 picks for the best Looney Tune characters of all time. Coming at number 10 is Lola Bunny. This character first appeared in the 1996 live action animation hybrid movie Space Jam and she has gained a cult following because of her character and appearance. But the reason I put her so low on the list is because in the original Space Jam movie, she was pretty bland. She's basically made as a love interest to Bugs Bunny, and to appeal to a broader audience. While Kath Susie did a great job as the character, but I kind of like her later voice actresses better, especially the one who voiced Lola in the Looney Tunes show of 2011, because she had more flaws in that show than in Space Jam. But that's just me, though. Number 9 is Granny. When it comes to female Looney Tunes characters in general, Granny would be my most favorite of the bunch because she's smart, kind, and caring, especially to Tweety Bird. I also thought June Foray was and will always be the absolute best voice for the character. It suits Granny's personality more than the other voice actresses, no offense. In addition, I thought it was quite interesting and epic that in her younger days, she and Tweety Bird fought Nazis during World War II. Not to mention that in Space Jam 2, she had the power to slow down time and age up her opponents, which I thought was quite funny. Overall. Granny is one of the best elderly cartoon characters of all time because of these reasons alone. She's even one of my favorite characters in the Sylvester and Tweety cartoons. Number 8 is Pepe Le Pew. I know I'm going to get some hate for this, but I loved Pepe Le Pew as a kid. It's so funny when he tries to embrace and kiss a terrified Penelope pussycat, which is the basic running gag for these shorts. Not to mention his putrid stench, which everyone is afraid of. However, I can understand why some people don't like Pepe Le Pew because of it, which explains why he's number 8. The second reason is that he was going to return in Space Jam A New Legacy, but was ultimately cut out due to his controversies, which is sad, but oh well, beggars can't be choosers. 
Still, I think Pepe Le Pew is one of my favorite and funniest Looney Tunes characters of all time, regardless of the controversy. I especially enjoyed his hilarious French accent. Number 7 is a tie between Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. Ah, the Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoons. They are some of my all-time favorites from the Looney Tunes library. The premise of these shorts is that Wile E. Coyote attempts to catch the Roadrunner so that he can eat him for dinner, but fails every time, which is the running gag of this series. What I love about these two characters is that they don't really talk that much for the most part. The Roadrunner's only quote is, Meep meep, as if he's a car, while Wile E. Coyote is mostly mute, even though he talks sometimes like in the Bugs Bunny episodes where he tries to hunt down the hare. To be honest, I normally prefer it if Wile E. Coyote doesn't talk at all, because that's the point of his character. In fact, it pretty much goes against the rules of his character. When he talks, that is. But regardless, Wile E. Coyote is a great antagonist, while the Roadrunner is a great protagonist. I always prefer it if the Roadrunner wins in the end, just like with the other heroes in Looney Tunes. Oh, and one last thing. Here's hoping that someone at Warner Brothers will leak the whole finished version of Coyote vs. Acme, because I really would love to see it badly. But sadly, it's gonna get deleted soon. No thanks to David Zaslav, seriously, screw you. Number 6, Yosemite Sam. When it comes to human hunters and human characters in the Looney Tunes universe, my favorite rich would have to be Yosemite Sam because for one thing, I like wild western culture in general. Secondly, I absolutely love it when he has a temper tantrum every time he gets outsmarted by Bugs Bunny. I especially love his entertaining western accent, which was first provided by Mel Blanc. But Yosemite Sam isn't always portrayed as a cowboy. Sometimes he can be a pirate captain, a hessian, or even a jail guard in certain cartoons, which makes him one of the most reoccurring antagonists in the franchise. So in my opinion, Yosemite Sam is my second favorite Looney Tunes antagonist, with Wile E. Coyote being third. But, there is one more villain character who I think is the absolute best, which leads to... Number 5, Cecil Turtle. Out of all the antagonists in Looney Tunes, Cecil Turtle is the most devious and most cunning character in the entire franchise. In fact, he was one of the only few characters to outsmart Bugs Bunny easily. One of my favorite episodes starring him was in Taurus Beats Hair, where they satire the Aesop's fable, The Taurus and the Hare. Another one of my favorite appearances of Cecil Turtle was in the Looney Tunes show episode, where he scams people out of their money by wearing a fake crack shell. It's also one of the only few instances where they show an actual gun on screen, which makes Cecil even more evil. How cool is that? So in conclusion, Cecil Turtle is the best Looney Tunes antagonist for these reasons alone. In fact, he is very underrated compared to other antagonists such as Marvin the Martian. Number 4. Foghorn Leghorn this character was one of my dad's favorites when he was alive. Foghorn Leghorn was a giant rooster who is basically a father figure to many young characters, including Henry Hawk and Egghead Jr. One of the best things about the character is his catchphrases such as, I say, that's a joke, son, or pay attention when I'm talking to you, boy. He often likes to sing and hum songs that are parodies of classic tunes, particularly Camp Town Races. He often has a rivalry with the Barnyard Dog, he likes to give a hard time. One more interesting fact about Foghorn Leghorn is that he's based on Senator Claghorn from the Fred Allen show. So all in all, Foghorn Leghorn gets the number 4 spot for these reasons alone. And I know I keep saying that a lot, sorry about that. Coming at number 3 is Porky Pig. This is another one of Warner Brothers' most iconic Looney Tune characters. He was best known for saying, th 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 That's all, folks! at the end of almost every single short. That's one thing I love about Porky Pig. The second thing is his overall personality. Sometimes he can be a bit shy and timid, while other times he can be kind, smart, and even sadistic on certain occasions, just like any other Looney Tunes character. Oh, and there was this one blooper where Porky Pig accidentally hammers his hand and almost swears, 
until he looks at the camera and says, You thought I was going to say son of a bitch, didn't ya? Yeah, that was the best Porky Pig moment in my opinion. Even though his chronic stuttering can get irritating after a while, but he's definitely one of my favorite Looney Tunes protagonists slash psychists because of his personality and for his iconic sapien porcine ending. Coming at number 2 is Daffy Duck. Out of all the bird characters in the franchise, Daffy Duck is my favorite of the bunch, but he's my second favorite Looney Tunes character overall for a number of reasons. First of all, I love his snarky attitude as well as his frequent lisp when he speaks. Secondly, he's my favorite sidekick character with Porky Pig being a close second. Daffy's also the show's equivalent of James the Red Engine when it comes to his personality. Not to mention that he's like the Warner Brothers version of Donald Duck. Speaking of which, the only time when Donald and Daffy were together was in Who Framed Roger Rabbit where they competed against each other during a piano concert. In addition, sometimes Daffy can be a good antagonist too. For instance, there were times when he tried to get Elmer Fudd to shoot Bugs Bunny only for him to get fooled in the end. So all in all, when it comes to bird characters in the Looney Tunes universe, Daffy deserves the number two spot for these reasons alone. In fact, I love him as much as Disney's Donald Duck. They're both perfect in their own right. Now before I get to my number one pick, I just want to give a few honorable mentions. The other Looney Tunes villains such as Elmer Fudd. As much as I love these Looney Tunes antagonists, they got beat out by Yosemite Sam, Wile E. Coyote, and Cecil Turtle because I always find those three to be the most amusing, devious, and cunning. Tweety Bird. He got beat out by Granny because I don't want too many bird characters on this list. Still, I love him regardless due to his cute and adorable little personality. The Abominable Snowman. He would have been much lower on the list because he doesn't appear that often in the franchise. But still, he's funny nonetheless. And my number one most favorite Looney Tunes character of all time is... Bugs Bunny. You knew this one was coming, didn't you? There are so many reasons why he deserves the number one spot. First of all, he's the most iconic and most reoccurring Looney Tunes character ever made by Warner Brothers. Secondly, he's one of the funniest and most mischievous cartoon characters because of his catchphrase, What's up, Doc? As well as his accent, which is a mix between Bronx and Brooklyn. And his habit of eating carrots, you know, because he's a rabbit. In fact, I even consider him a true leader of the whole Looney Tunes gang because he's a smart and laid-back prank master. He can even fool almost everybody without losing, especially towards Elmer Fudd, who is the butt of Bugs' jokes, hence why he's named Elmer Fudd. In conclusion, because of these reasons alone, and sorry I keep repeating that, I don't really see a reason not to include him as number one. I mean, he's a true legend just like Mickey Mouse. Oh, and speaking of which, like Donald and Daffy, Bugs and Mickey also share some screen time together in Hoover and Roger Rabbit, which I thought was pretty cool too. Now let me know your thoughts below on which of these Looney Tunes characters are your favorite. Do you agree with my list, or do you have your own personal preference? And if you're not a fan of the Looney Tunes, then that's totally fine. Just understand why they were so famous and popular to begin with. This is Trevor Davis signing off and saying, Th 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 that's all, folks!